Alright, I want to show you guys something awesome. It's called the 4-in loop. And I'm going to couple this with some Ajax to show you what's going on. So, if you watch the last video, which uh, is about to be up in a second, then you'll know about this Ajax thing that I'm doing right here. Basically, it's starting an Ajax call, and here it's finishing an Ajax call. Okay? That's all you need to know. Let me pull over the jQuery website real quick. Uh, do I have that up? Yeah. So, in the Ajax function success, okay, it actually accepts three parameters. Event, XML HTTP request, and Ajax options. Okay? This is the key object that makes Ajax work. So, let's... I want to know... I want to know if I can... So, so basically, what I've been doing before is I'm passing in the file to this function. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. What I want to do is... So, basically, I do plus file, right? And let me sh go back to the website here to show you what that looks like. Refresh. When I do Ajax, you see it tells me the file right there. I don't want to pass in the file name. I want to be able to find it. And I should be able to with those objects. Let me show you how to do it. Now, you have no idea what object to use, right? Neither do I. So let's find out. I'm going to use something called a for in loop to be able to do this. So a normal for loop looks like for i equals zero, i i is less than five, i plus plus, right? That's a normal for loop. But we're not going to do that. We're going to use a for for in loop. Basically, for prop property. We'll call it property. We'll call it prop. Prop is the property. Just a variable name for for. You could use i here, but for property in okay now uh, well actually uh, let's let's back up a second here uh we need to go we need to know we need to pass in these so there's three event xml http request and ajax options let's pass in those parameters as event xml http and options options okay we've passed in those three parameters that aj that jquery is giving us so for property in, let's do XML HTTP. Okay, for this, uh, that's all you have to put. We are going to, let's start a string here. Var string equals quote. I'm going to start filling the string so I can spit it back out. Okay, let's say um, string plus equals. Okay, uh, we'll go property, property, colon, space. And now we're going to call it prop, so that's going to tell us what property we're on, supposedly, plus quote, and then we'll do uh, space dash value colon space quote plus. Now, the trick here is you don't do, in an object, you do object dot property. Well, in this case, you're actually going to do XML HTTP, so object, and in an array form, prop. Okay, that's how you're going to get the property, right? And now we'll do plus quote BR just so we can separate them out easily. Now, let's uh, spit that out to our page using, quote, uh, footer, right, as we had before, HTML, and we'll just spit out uh, that string, okay? Now, what this is going to do is iterate through all of the properties in an object, any object you want, any object, and this should show us what is available to us. So let's actually take a look. I'll refresh this page, okay, let me move this up. And now I'll select one of these options and check that out, okay? I now can see every possible property of this Ajax call that I had no idea was here before. So we got ready state, response XML, on load, on error, on load start, status 200. This will tell us if, the, if you want to load a page and the status is not 200, that means page not found. You can make link checkers with this, okay? Here's an object here. There's actually nothing in that I checked. Response test text is actually the formatted HTML. You can get this with jQuery. You don't have to do it here, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, status text says our Ajax is okay, plus all this other stuff, okay? Now, the one thing that I found that's useful is let's do that same procedure, only with the options instead. Options, right? Options. Now, let's take a look. Refresh. Choose one. Now, this is specific to jQuery, but check this value out. URL tells me what file it was. Now, that is awesome. What I'm going to do with that now is I'm going to make a new variable called var URL equals options.url. I'm going to spit out the URL here. 
I'm going to get rid of this, as in I'm not going to pass in the file anymore. I'm going to use this functionality that I found, so I'm going to comment this out now. I don't need this at all. I just did this to discover what my properties were. But now that I know, I don't need any more to to be able to know what the object was, as in I don't need to pass it in. So now I can save this, refresh it. When I do it, it's going to tell me what PHP file Ajax called. This is great. Now I can do this function, and the next thing I'm going to do is make this global so that with any time any Ajax function gets called, I can tell me what file it was, whether it was OK, whether it errored. I could even tell what data was passed through. So this is all great stuff, and using that for in loop, we were able to discover it. So you can use that with any object. Great stuff. So I just wanted to show you real quick what the outcome of all this was. I played around for a second. Instead of having a function down here, all I did was put this in a document.ready now. And this is amazing. I attached the listeners to the body instead of a single object. So what happens is, any time any Ajax function gets called, the footer says Ajax sent, and then any time any Ajax function finishes successfully, and you can actually do Ajax uh, complete to make sure, that way you can catch errors too, right? Pass it these three, take the three options, XML HTTP.status text, and again we found these by using that for in loop, options.url, options.data, spitting that all out. Now, check this out. I didn't put any extra code other than those, those 14 lines. Okay, choose a color, bam. Tells me what file it is, if it was an OK status, and what the ID was. Go from pink to yellow, tells you, save value was called, status is OK, and here's the data that was sent. Do it again, switched, values changed. So it's awesome way to debug your Ajax, and that's all you have to write is just these lines right here and you're done. This will do it all automatically in that footer bar. You don't have to put any calls or anything. This is a really great way to do it.